Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we are going to discuss a very important question which keeps coming back to me. I don't know why but yeah, it keeps coming back to me again and again. So I think I'll make a big video talking about the same so that it's very, very clear, crystal clear in the minds of all of you. Okay. So the question which I keep getting is, tell us how should we progress in our life science career, right? Now, life science, the moment I say there are multiple parts of life science, like there is botany, zoology, which is the core biology, then you have biotechnology, biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology, ecology, evolution, applicatory uh, biotechnology, a lot of things are there, right? Marine biotechnology is there. So, I think uh, I'll give you in general uh, steps which you, which you should take, okay? But yeah, you can always uh, look into more specialized steps by subscribing to Biotechnica's YouTube channel because that's where we talk in detail about everything which we get as a query. So like you have a query, you comment below. We don't reply to your comments probably, but yeah, we'll take that and in a, in a, in a matter of 15 days, you will see that particular you know comment becoming a video and it'll be posted on our YouTube channel. That's how we make so many videos, right? So, okay. So coming to the first point, which I wanted to make is create a roadmap, okay? It's very important for you to create a grand vision of what you want to do, what you want to become. Like, um, you know, you don't say that I want to become a, a, you know, biophysicist. You say that I want to become a biophysicist in MIT or IISC, something like that. So you have a definite uh, roadmap, not like a vague roadmap. Okay. So have a create a roadmap and have a definite goal. Okay. So that's the first point. When you say that I want to become a biochemist in this company, biotechnologist in this company. So that gives you a grand picture. Okay. This is what I want to achieve. Like I want to become a plant biotechnologist and say ITC. So these are the things you have to identify first. The second point is, so when you know your grand vision, so of course you have to split it into multiple steps. And for that, you need to expand your knowledge, right? So the second point is expand your knowledge, right? I don't want to say this that you're not doing it already. Probably you are doing it. So, okay. Uh, but always keep cross verifying, is it enough? Are we able to take things the same way how industry is moving? Like, okay, so gene editing, so CRISPR, okay, what next? Something else is coming. Okay, keep yourself ahead, okay? Probably, I think in this domain, you have to keep expanding your no knowledge by, um, you know, having that fear of missing out, like, okay, I should not miss out anything. So that's uh, the second point, expand your knowledge, gain more information regarding the choices of careers you can have in this field. And I think Biotechnica has got a wide spectrum of videos and articles on this. And that's the best, best part of us. Yeah. The third, which I can say is analyze and understand what is your passion. Okay. So it's very, very easy to say that I want to make a career in research, but it's very difficult to identify that parasitology is my passion or, you know, biochemistry or this particular uh, thing is my passion. Like enzymology is my passion. Thermodynamics is my passion. So when you choose a particular domain or a subdomain or a sub 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 domain and say that, okay, this is where I want to do my research and I want to grow in my career. Okay. So that's the analyze and understand the prospects of different bioscience career paths. So that's uh, something which I should tell you. The fourth point is follow your passion. So now that you have analyzed, you need to follow it. Okay. So many people get confused. What's passion? Passion is something. Okay. If I wake you up at two o'clock at night for continuous 30 days, okay, and ask you to do that, would you do it? And would you do it happily? If the answer is yes, then that's probably your passion, right? So now that you have analyzed and understood what's your passion, what's your subdomain, which you want to do research in, then go into that. Follow it, okay? Don't question it like, will I be successful? See, I'll tell you, okay, let's assume that marine biotechnology, there is no scope. Suppose, okay, which actually is not the fact, but yeah, suppose. But even if that is the case, if you are the only marine biotechnologist in this world, you're going to be worshipped. So even if a field has no scope, even if you're the number one, it's as good as, you know, any other field. So, you know, stop questioning that. Ki, will I grow in this field or not? You will definitely grow if you're the top notch, right? Like nobody can go and question um, the CEO of Editas or CRISPR, right? Uh, Jennifer Dodna. So what's happening here? Basically, they followed their passion. The next point is 
you have to make well informed career choices many people say okay as soon as they pass pass their bsc they start comparing with their btech guys and say they are got, getting a job why can't i get a job i'll tell you a fact about the btech in uh, it field what's happening is as soon as they pass out they'll get a good salary job but as they progress and they uh, become uh, the middle uh, like they have 20 years of experience in it the moment recession comes these guys are thrown out fast and the freshers are brought in this is how the industry works in it industry the freshers are brought in the experience are thrown out because anyways the freshers can do the same thing as the experienced ones that's what is the truth of it industry but that that doesn't happen in bt industry as you gain knowledge as you gain, publish research papers as you you know be, uh, get the patents you become more valuable you must not have heard of itc laying off any scientist right have you heard of biocon laying off any scientist in last 30 days or last Three years, I have never heard, or Sinjin doing that, or Pfizer doing that. So what's really happening? IT industry uses you as a chewing gum. So they take you as a fresher, use you, and throw you after twenty years. But that doesn't happen. Of course, they get absorbed elsewhere. So I'm not saying that they are thrown. But yeah, that's what the IT out outsourcing companies are doing today. They're using the IT professionals as chewing gums. Okay. So coming to the next part, self skill analysis. So okay, I'll tell you my facts, right? Like. i have a very strong observation power but i cannot really stand for long hours and work in a lab so even though i wanted to get into research i realized that probably it will not fit into my passion um you know mindset so basically this is something which my mentor taught you taught me i'll tell you and that is like when you run a company you look for product market fit the same way when you are running when you want to uh, you know grow in your career you have to look for passion market fit so if your passion aligns with the market that's how you'll grow okay so passion market fit is something which you have to look for or passion product fit so if research is the product and your passion aligns with it go for it okay so that's what the self skill analysis talks about the next is gaining experience so now a lot of freshers will come sir i my research passion is there but i'm not getting a job i'm not getting any experience because you are waiting for the job to come to you never ever wait for the opportunity to come to you kuwa paise ke paas nahi aata you have to go to the well to quench your thirst right same thing you have to do hands on you have to learn data analysis you have to do a lot of virtual training you have to do a lot of um online trainings meet a lot of people network understand listen to them like you're doing with me right now and that's how you learn right you go to them you they don't come to you like i won't come to you to give you a job you have to come to me to get a job this is how the industry works in anywhere okay so self skill analysis and then gain experience the next one is build a robust chain of network okay how do you build a chain of network like okay so i go to linkedin so i'm a msc microbiology fresher i see a msc uh, biochemistry fresher job i'm like hey it's not for me i'll delete i'll just scroll up no don't do that repost it okay in your network write that i am posting this for all my uh, classmates and colleagues who are in msc uh, biochemistry please look into this job maybe it will help you so when you do that they will also inform you right and that is how your network grows that is how it becomes valuable it's not just linkedin it's like okay you share it on whatsapp you tell your friends there is a vacancy you would you like to apply because i think you are eligible they will also help you see the major major tendency like 99% humans want to help trust me that's the truth 1% don't want to or they will expect some payment in lieu of that but yeah 99% people would help you right so why not go for that so build a robust chain of network the next is download biotechnica app or follow us on youtube and uh, subscribe to biotechnica newsletter why do i say that it's not that we are the best all i'm saying is that way you will not miss out on the opportunity that way you will know where things are moving in the industry and that way you will be updated and that is how you can actually inform your friends and keep them also updated and that's how you build a network right so yeah download biotechnica app next one look out for some government scholarship if you want to go for your phd or future research okay why i'm saying so because when you look for that fellowship aids and funds which the government provides not just indian government us government european government there are so many um, you know partnership in between government like dad so a lot of you know uh, abdul kalam azad fellowship so many fellowships are there which you can apply for and of course all these notifications will come on biotechnica so yeah that will definitely help you so look out for government scholarships 
opportunities, internships, a lot of things which is happening around you, definitely you can progress in your life science career. So this is what I wanted to talk about today. Um, probably I gave you 10 or 11 points, but the bottom line here is progress happens when you measure it. Okay. So measure your progress that out of these 10 points, what all things you could follow, put them down in the comment section. Let me know where you are lacking and probably I can either make a video or reply in the comment. How can I help you? How our network or our experts can help you? At the end of the day, like I said, we are here to help and you are here to grow. So why not join hands and grow together, right? So all the best for your, you know, career and uh, see you soon. Employed. All the best.